tell me again, where did you where did you meet her? What? Where did you meet her? Malta, I met her in Malta. Malta? You've been to Malta? Yeah, I've got some meat, I met her with some meat in Malta. Right. Well when, so you met her with your meet in Malta? Yeah, she had a brother called Peter. I met her with Peter with the meet in Malta. Right, was that on the metro? Yeah, so I met her I got the metro. I read the metro, I met her with the meet in Malta with a brother called Peter and he he, he was a poster. Peter's a potter? Yes, he has a potter. He, um, he was also a piper. Oh, wow. So Peter Piper, the potter, met her in Metro of the Malta with Peter and Rita. There was, was a cheater. Met at the post office, didn't you? Yeah. yeah but, but, so. what, 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 oh, oh. Um, it's half my video, isn't it? You've got no watch on. I know, oh, I'm very good at telling the time. Oh, it's quarter past Brackle. Oh! Oh! I should go. Yeah. I'll go. Nobody panic! I made it! Okay, that was a massive lie because I filmed that thing ages back now and that's pretty obvious. I mean, for starters, my hair's shorter and dyed a completely different colour. Those of you that have already been sad enough to rewind have noticed that I've got a different coloured t-shirt and a BBC Works Pass on underneath this coat. And also, in the realms of actual reality, why would I film something in a completely different location only to run back here and do it in the normal spot? It's simply for the purposes of your entertainment. Speaking of entertainment, I'm going to take my clothes off. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, Woodstock's on my t-shirt. What? 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 Do you get it? Do you tweet? Because he's a bird, and everyone tweets nowadays because we're all antisocial. Go internet, go! Ah, the internet. The place where people come to waste their time watching videos on YouTube. That's what you're doing right now, by the way. So yeah, this is just a quickie blog because I haven't really written a proper blog yet. So I'm just going to chat on and on and on to see what happens. Um, how have you been? I've been alright. A uh, few things have changed, I guess. I've dyed my hair. Look at that. Oh, it's all like dark chocolate brown instead of light brown. And white bit's gone. Look at that. That's because it's been dyed. I did ask the hairdresser if they could keep the white bit because without it, I'm no longer snowy. Yep, for those of you who've always wondered, the reason I'm called Chris is snowy is because I have a natural clump of white hair on my head, but right now it's kind of gone. Well, I say that's the reason. That's one of two reasons. The other one I'll reveal in a video at some point, but that's not for now. I'll wait until you're older, you naughty, naughty people. Stop asking me. Stop asking me. Did I just ramp up the camp? Some people have asked me, did I dye my hair for Red Nose Day in Comet Relief? I didn't, though. Uh, though I did have a great time at Comet Relief. I mean, check this out. Oh! That's a photo there of me with, like, people, and there's another one, and there's another one. Look, there's all the people, and they're famous and that. In fact, if you go on the official Comic Relief channel of this year's Red Nose Day, which I'll put here, hello, you can see a video of uh, me and a few of the other guys from CBBC in a chorus singing Take That's Never Forget at the end of the night. It was quarter past two in the morning, we were very tired, and I don't think anyone remembered the words. The best part's where they do a close-up on Jimmy Carr, and Rick Astley holds the mic to his face, you know, to get him to sing, and he just sort of goes... So yeah, Comet Relief was great. I did a job swap with Ricky Boletto from Newsround, he's an ace guy, and he decided to present for a link on CBBC, and I decided to present a Newsround bulletin. I was petrified, it was the most nerve-wracking thing ever, because there wasn't a talking dog to help save the day. It apparently went up... <coughs> oh, sorry. It apparently went up... <coughs> oh. Okay, feel better now. It apparently went okay. Can you believe that? that all that coughing, and that was just all I wanted to get out. <laughs> So another round of news, Gallifrey 4, the fourth series of, uh, well, Gallifrey from Big Finish Audio was released uh, this week, I believe, and uh, it's the one where I'm in three of the stories, and it looks something like this. Oh, it's pretty. Do you like it? Yes, you do. I hope you do. If you want it, you can buy it from Big Finish's website or from shops like Forbidden Planet and that. Oh. I officially feel like a voice actor now because I open up three of the CDs and see my name in the booklets in the cast list, and that is, that is ace. That's a dream come true. The review video started not so long ago, kicking off with an Alien vs Predator set, which I told you about in my last vlog, and my latest ones are the Batman Arkham Asylum figure set reviews, which you can see here. Oh, go on, give them a click. There's Batman, Scarecrow, Harley Quinn, and Joker. Feel free to take a look at them, guys. Even if you're not a fan of toys or a fan of video games, they're quite cool. It might convince you to buy one or two things just to have on your mantelpieces, and if you don't have a mantelpiece, you can put them on your head. Because this city is full of people who are willing to believe in good. Batman reference, old chum. So yeah, you've got all these cool videos here, and if you want to see what Keith Teeth got up to for comic relief and his spreading of awareness of Red Nose Day, then click here! Um... I probably should have thought that one through. And the wall just raising money in my locket. Oh, James. You're such a silly sausage. Oh, that reminds me. Yes, sausages. 
I'm not sure how it works. I'm not a doctor. I can promise you that. 